and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesenia and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. In this video, I'm going to show you guys 10 things you need to start doing before 2018 rolls around. We have less than a month to implement all these steps. 2018 is going to be here before you know it and I'm super excited. We need to prepare for for 2018 now so that we make sure that we get in, into a good pattern and good habits and a good rhythm. If you want to find out the 10 things you need to do before 2018, then continue watching. My first tip to do before 2018 comes in is to reflect. Reflect on this to on the on the past year 2017 that is coming to an end and reflect on it. Why this is so important is because you want to see where you've grown and where you haven't grown so that it could show you what it is that you want to do in 2018, what it is you want to work on, uh, the challenges that you, you want to accomplish. Also, reflecting on 2017 is a great way to see what you were grateful about. To reflect, you could also write down a list of things that you have accomplished this year to show that you have done a lot for the year and also it could show you what it is that you want to accomplish in 2018. Reflecting back on the year is just a great way to see what has happened and even through the bad things. And it's a great way to see how you overcome those obstacles and write those down. Write down the obstacles that you had and what it is that you did to overcome them. And if you're, if you're still going through obstacles, Try to figure out a solution to your problem. Reflecting on the year will just give you a, pers a new perspective for 2018 and to change up the things that you no longer that no longer serves you and to keep the things that do serve you. <laughs> Tip number two is to start your New Year's resolutions right now. Don't wait till that New Year rolls around. Start writing down the goals, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in 2018. Start writing them down now. The point of making this video is to prepare for 2018. This is to get you motivated and to propel you into 2018. We want to do our New Year's resolutions now so that we already know like what it is that we want. We're ready to take them on. Taking action is everything. Not only is making goals important, but taking action is important too. So let's do write down your goals now so that you can already take the action once January starts instead of trying to figure out what it is that you want to do, what are your goals, and then you wind up not doing your resolutions at all. So start them now and start getting into your new habits and your new resolutions, your new goals, whatever it is you want it to be called. My third tip is to start being grateful. There's this wonderful gratitude quote that I'm going to read you guys by Rumi. Wear gratitude like a cloak and it will feed every corner of your life. Rumi. Be having gratitude will change your life. You, you may look at me and be like, how is gratitude going to change my life? But it will. Find something that you're grateful every day, every day, and I've already implemented this third step about a month ago, I would say, into my daily life. And it has uplifted my spirit and it has made me have more of a positive outlook. So be realistic here in what it is that you're gra grateful for. There's always something that you could find to be grateful for. For example, something I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my animals. I'm grateful for this apartment and the support of my boyfriend. I am grateful that I get to have an education and go to school for acupuncture and for herbs. Those are quick examples. And even if you don't feel like you're you're grateful for these things, say them anyway and it'll start changing your subconscious mind and it'll start rewiring your brain brain until it is real for you. It also sends out those positive vibes to the universe and the universe will return it to you. It will send positive vibrations out for you, it will uplift your spirit, it can uplift your spirit, it can send those positive vibes out where it starts to attract more things into your life, more opportunities, it can make you feel less stressful because you're more you're looking at things that are you're grateful for and it change it could change your perspective and also stay tuned for more videos that i will be doing in the future for gratitude my fourth tip is personal growth i am a huge personal growth person i love growing i'm like a sponge i love learning new things what is in what area in your life do you want to grow and, and this is personal growth so spiritually I love to grow in every aspect of my life I just love learning 
Personal growth is an ongoing process of understanding and developing oneself in order to achieve one's full potential. It is the foundation of emotional, physical, intellectual, and spiritual health. Many of your actions may be geared to self-improvement, but personal growth, pick something, pick a topic that is highly interested in you and make sure that you implement that topic in your daily life to help you grow. Because you live a busy life and you might be going to school, you might be working, you might be a full-time mom, you might be a full-time father. Who knows what it is that is going on in your life? So it is important to have your personal growth and to pick that topic of what it is that you want to grow in. Personal growth is basically to be the best version you can be possible and just to do the best that you can and try. My fifth tip to do before 2018 rolls around is to raise your vibes. Yes, your, your, your presence is everything. Your presence is everything and everything that you do. So raise your vibes and different ways to raise your vibes is to use essential oils, to get Himalayan salt lamps, to read spiritual self-improvement books, to surround yourself with positive people. There's so many different ways that you could raise your vibes. But it's so important to raise your vibes because you want to bring light to the world because there's enough darkness in this world. So bring light to the world and raise your vibes. Find something that's going to motivate you every day to raise your vibrations up. And when you raise your vibes, you attract a bunch of opportunities and people and everything into your life. My sixth tip is to save 10% of your money and every paycheck that you make or tips. 10%, at least 10%. This is something that I'm already implementing now because one of my weaknesses is saving money. And I reflected back on this year and a bunch of the years and I have a terrible habit of not saving money. So I've already implemented this and for me, I'm a massage therapist so I get tips. So every week I save my tips and I put it away. But you could also do 10% of your paycheck. That little bit will Put it in your savings account and before you know it, it will, it will add up and you'll, you'll be so happy that you saved that money for your future. Saving money for your future is so important. It may look hip and hop to buy a bunch of different things and buy the things that are in trend, but it's more trendier to save money and to have money for your future self. And that is part of taking care of yourself. My seventh tip is to plan, plan, plan. If you're someone like me and is always in my head and coming up with a bunch of different ideas, you need to plan. If you plan, the success rate of you doing what it is that you planned out is achieved a lot better than when you don't plan it out. When I use my planner and I plan everything out, when I plan out the month, ahead and then I plan out every day of what it is that I'm doing. It gives you that visualization of what you have to get done so that you don't slack and start watching TV, so that you you stop being motivated and so that you wind up not doing anything at all. So planning is a great way to keep you motivated, to keep you, your, your goals intact and to tackle your day and tackle your month. There's all different ways you could plan. You could you get a journal, you could get a dry erase board, you could do both, whatever it is. And even if your plans don't work out, at, le at least you can move things around and at least you already have set the intention of the things that you want to get done. My eighth tip is to create a vision board. Making a vision board is fun and easy. You could do this with your friends, you could do this with your family, or you could just do it by yourself. Whatever it is, I love making vision boards. I've been making vision boards for years. And I have accomplished things that have been on my vision boards. Moving to Arizona is one of those accomplishments and I'm here. So definitely, making a vision board is essential to propel you into 2018. Anyway, it's a great visual and when you look at your vision board every day, it reminds you of the goals that you wanna do and it gives you that boost of motivation and vibe to get you going for the day. So I definitely recommend looking at your vision board every morning upon waking so that you don't forget what it is that you want to accomplish. I will link in the suggested box above my how to create a vision board above. Tip number nine is to start a journal. I've had so many people tell me to journal, 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 because I'm always in my head. So definitely, if you're somebody who's always in your head, I've already said this, but definitely get a journal. Journaling, will help you reflect on the day, what it is that you 
you had a weakness in, what it is that you had a strength in, and it's just a great way to release tension and stress and to vent, to vent for the day, and it's just a, a great way to release emotions, and it's a great way to just dump everything, dump all this, the negativity, if you're stressed out that day, it's just a great way to dump it all out, so you, you don't carry it with you, or it's just a great way to have your creative thoughts or your imagination, whatever it is that you do that you like to write about, definitely start a journal for every day. Even if it's one page, a couple sentences, you wanna create a habit of journaling a little bit every day. My 10th tip for you guys before 2018 comes is to believe in yourself. And yes, there will be days that you don't believe in yourself and there will be days that you feel like you're on fire. Find out what it is that you're hungry for. Find out what it is that you love about yourself. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever that it is that you want to accomplish, believe in yourself. Don't rely on anybody else to empower you or to make you believe in yourself. It's definitely surround people that will empower you and give you positive vibes and love you, but don't rely on them. Bet on yourself and believe in yourself. Uh, this is so essential for everybody. And there will be days that you don't believe in yourself and you're gonna have to find out ways to boost up your vibes again and to believe in yourself. Love yourself because you're gonna be with yourself for the rest of your life. You have a talent, you have a special gift to bring into this world. Find, what, find out what that talent is, find out what that special gift is and bring it on. Bring it to this world and don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody stop you. You are you and there's no one like you in this entire world. You are you and believe in yourself. It's so important to believe in yourself. And it might take some time to get up to believing in yourself. To start believing yourself is to start self-loving yourself and doing things for yourself taking some me time, whatever it is that you need to do to get yourself loving yourself and to start believing yourself. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you and everything that you do and I believe that you have a special gift and a talent in this world. So those are my 10 tips to start doing before 2018 hits. I hope this inspires you to get motivated and to start planning. All these tips tie in together and I hope these tips will help you and inspire you to take on 2018. In numerology, number eight is a power. It's a number of power and abundance. So take on this year, 2018, with a bang and take it on, believe in yourself, love yourself, and do all these tips, and I guarantee you will be flying high, my friend. Next year, and Chinese New Year, is the year of the dog and the element Earth. So we were just in a rooster, in the element fire rooster, and the year before that, we were in fire monkey. So it's a, fire is like a lot of chaos, monkeys are a lot of chaos, roosters are very cocky and loud and cause chaos too. So now we're going into the Earth, and dog. Dogs are loyal and calm and earth is grounding. So 2018 is going to be a wonderful year. All right guys, namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. See you guys in my next video. Bye!